what is up everyone this is somnath coder from future coders in this video tutorial we are going to be building this simple auto text typing effect using html and css as you can see this is what we will be building in this short tutorial video so before we start building this please make sure you subscribe to our channel and also don't forget to leave a like on this video so let's get started with the tutorial <laughs> Okay, now let's start building it. In the body, let's create a div. Inside the div, we will have an h1 saying hi, sorry, hi, and a span tag saying my name. I am Somnath. And right after the h1, let's define the h3 saying web developer and programmer so there we have our content that's it for the html now it's all time it's time for css everything is going to happen in our css so for the css we are going to use a custom font from the google fonts so let's search for those google fonts okay i'm going to use the montserrat let's search for that more this one I need the 300 and I'm also going to need the 400 okay regular 400 and finally the 700 so once we are done this let's import this copy this and paste it inside our CSS file okay now by default our browser applies some default margin and padding so let's clear the clear those by selecting everything and margin 0 padding to 0 and box sizing to border box okay there we have it now let's uh, target that div this one and for the div i want the i want the content to be aligned centrally horizontally and vertically so here i am going to define the not inherit height of 100 view heights i need the background of uh, this one 082032 okay there we have it now i want the test color to be white and i want everything to be aligned centrally display flex align items to the center justify content to the center okay i also need to set uh, the flex direction as column okay there we have it everything aligned to the center now let's target the h1 for the h1 uh, i need the font size of 4 rem 4 rems that's going to be this big i also want a um, slight margin bottom of 1 rem okay now let's target the span tag i want different color for that h1 span i want the color to be rgba of 0 255 0 and 0.75 okay there we have our different color for my name now uh, actually let's target this h3 not square buckets s3 uh, for the s3 i am gonna remove any white space uh, by saying now wrap overflow of hidden and i want some border to the right solid three pixels i want the border to look like uh, the cursor right so here I want the border right solid 3 pixels RGB a value of same 0 255 0 and 0.75 that green color which I am using for my name okay there we have our cursor right so let's make the text little bit bigger font size 28 pixels okay 
I also want the color to change RGBA let's say 255 255 255 and I'm gonna reduce the opacity to 0.7 alpha value okay okay there we have it okay now let's actually work on animation that's how it's gonna look like it's actually typing so here I will say animation so I'm gonna define the animation name the it's going to be animated text the name is going to be animated text don't worry we are gonna define this animated text and next uh, if you are wondering what these suggestions are actually i have installed github copilot if you don't know what github copilot is i will provide a link to uh, for your reference in the description okay github copilot is a new uh, new technology released by the github which actually suggests uh, code right so uh, I will make a separate video on that don't worry about that okay uh, the name is going to be for the animated text animation okay actually miss okay column oh, colon okay animation name is animated text and the next one is going to be the uh, duration of how long we want the animation to occur so I'm gonna say four seconds and next is going to be the timing function so here I will say steps 29 end okay now right after that i'm gonna define some delay of one second so it's gonna make a delay after the delay i'm gonna define an iteration count so how many times do you want it to happen so here i'll say one and finally i'm uh, not finally uh, right after that i'm gonna set the direction the direction is going to be normal after the normal i need to set for the fill mode so here for the fill mode it's going to be both and we are going to have one more animation for the cursor the cursor is going to be blinking uh, blinking infinitely so here i will say animated cursor this is the anime animation name so i need it to run for 600 ms it's gonna blink every 600 milliseconds and again right after the it right after that the duration i need to set the timing function here i will say steps of 29 and and finally uh, next is going to be i think and it's going to be iteration count so here i will say infinite so the cursor is gonna blink infinitely okay that's it for the animation now we need to actually define these animations okay let's make a comment here for text animation let's define a keyframe first one is going to be for the animated text for the animated text uh, it's going to start from the zero zero percent for the zero percent the first width is going to be zero and two the two value is going to be for the width i'm going to set it as 472 pixels okay okay as you can see something is actually it's actually started to type we still need to work on the cursor so let's define that for the animated cursor it's going to start from the from border right color to this rgba value of this green and to border right color transparent okay there we have our blinking cursor and I also forgot to <laughs> actually define the font family which we already imported from the Google fonts. So let's set the font family of Montserrat and Sans Serif. Okay, there we have our completed auto text typing effect. As you can see. So that's it guys for this video. Hope you learned something and hope you guys enjoyed this video. 
don't forget to leave a like on this video and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this i will see you in the next one thank you for watching Thank you.